How did you? How did that happen? Uh, it was uh, the Monday of the week. Um, we played Illinois, and um, I mean, just running kind of felt my hamstring go on me. I had some uh, knee problems before that, so um, it just kind of happened. So. You're, you're pretty sure you'll be able to go this week. Yeah, I should be able to. What's the biggest difference without Joe on the sideline? What's the biggest thing you notice uh, him up in the box on? Um, I mean, I think I think he kind of keeps things uh, a little quieter on the sideline. You know, you'll see Coach McQuarrie getting uh, kind of out of control and things sometimes. You know, he'll tell Mike to calm down, tell everybody to calm down. And uh, I mean, it, I mean, it's really comforting to see him on the sideline and uh, kind of have that reassurance sometimes. But um, I mean, he, he uh, I mean, can still do his job uh, uh, on the booth also. Jordan, what have the doctors and trainers been doing with you, <clears throat> excuse me, to get that hamstring healthy? Um, a lot. I um, was in there for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours this morning. About to head back over there here a little bit before practice. But, um, I mean, a lot of leg exercises, lifts and stuff, uh, running in the pool, uh, icing, cold bath. Uh, electric stem and uh, I mean, stretching. I mean, it's it's a lot of work that uh, uh, I mean I want to put in because I want to get back out there and uh, they're kind of motivating me too. So. Jordan, how much do you enjoy going to Camp Randall and with the atmosphere and passion of the Wisconsin Games out for college football? Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna love it. Um, I mean, I can't wait to get out there. Uh, can't wait to see the atmosphere. Can't wait to hear their fans yelling at us and uh, hopefully be, quiet, be able to quiet them down a little bit. But uh, uh, it, should be, it should be a great game and a great atmosphere. And I mean, that's what Big Ten football is about and what uh, college football is about, really. Where does a Wisconsin rank in terms of your, your favorite places to go on the road and play? Is that uh, I mean, it ranks up there. Uh, I mean, with them in, them in uh, Ohio State, are some of my favorite stadiums to go to just because. Uh, uh, I mean, how loud it is and the challenge it is to uh, stay focused and things like that. Uh, I kind of enjoy that challenge. Jordan, I asked some of the other players on offense this. What does Evan Royster, what dimension does he bring, do you think, to your offense? Uh, I mean, he, he brings a, I mean, not only running dimension, he can catch the ball too, but um, I mean, he's a, he's a great running back and uh, that's something that we definitely need. I mean, any team needs really, but um, I mean, he just, he just gives another weapon for defenses to have to look out for. And uh, I mean, fortunately with him, uh, as I said, it's, it's uh, running the ball from the backfield, catching the ball from the backfield, and uh, even splitting out sometimes too. Jordan, Coach Paterno said Wisconsin likes to put eight in the box. How important will it be for you guys to open up the passing game to maybe bring, keep their defense back? Um, I think that will be important. Um, I mean, just as important as any other game because that's what we do offensively. We, we run the ball and we pass the ball. So um, I mean, we'll, we'll be sure to get both both those facets going in early. And um, I mean, that's that's something that our offense needs to do every week. Jordan, you've been a guy who's played a good, who has played a good bit since your freshman years. What, what's it been like the past two weeks when you were seeing it from the other side, being on the sideline, knowing you're probably not going to get in? Um, it's tough. Um, I mean, those everybody out there that's playing is guys that I've uh, worked out, worked hard with this off season, and uh, for the most part for the past three or four years. So, um, I mean, it's tough not to be able to be out there on the field, but um, I mean, it's, it's it's not hard to stay in the game mentally and and cheer those guys on and, and uh, congratulate them as they're coming off the field and things like that. During the week of the Illinois game, we hear from some players about uh, you know the anxiety that builds up on game days when it's a night game. Yeah. What's it like on the road? Is it easier, tougher to get to get ramped up? Um, I think it's about the same. I mean, either way, we're, we're sitting in the hotel room, uh, going up and down the stairs to meals and uh, meetings and, and things like that. So it's 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 a, it's really a long day, um, and uh, I mean, there's there's usually a couple naps in there. And, you're kind of just making sure they stay focused and and, uh, and uh, make sure you're ready to play. Uh, this morning on his conference call, Navarro Bowman was talking about his love of basketball and how much he likes to play. 
uh, you've, I'm sure you've gone against him. How good is he on the, on the hardwood, and could you beat him one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, he's great. He's a great basketball player. Uh, he's, there's no doubt about that. We actually played, uh, I mean, growing up when I lived in, in Maryland, we played against each other all the time. Uh, he played for a, a summer league team in, in the D.C. area, and I played uh, around Annapolis, and we, we would play all the time, and I uh, kind of reminisce about that uh, every once in a while. But um, when it comes to one-on-one, -on -one, um, I mean, I don't know. He's, he's, he might back me down a little bit, but um, we'll, we'll have to see. <laughs> I don't know. Anything else for Jordan? Okay.